science that gave external facilities to human being and religion that satisfy human being internally both made life of human being in better way as a devotee search by search absorb in god the same way a scientist search by search assimilate in matter both give importance to humanity hence it would be right to say that science is outside religion and religion is inside science outside and inside know that there is only the one lord the guru has imparted this wisdom to me O servant Nanak, without knowing one's own self, the moss of doubt is not removed. Each amenity of body is blessing of science. All amenities of mind like how to rise from lust, anger, greed, attachment, pride, how to know ourself, everything is obtained from religion. Both accept work is worship. Performing good deeds, he does not seek rewards. Spotlessly pure is the religion of such a Vaishnava. Both science and religion are two aspects of one coin. Both motives bring equality. Every work that could not completed by religion has completed by science. Breaking the bondage of casteism and high law, religion wanted to bring people all together under one roof. But people were not ready to accept it. However, it was happened by science one invention railway that brought all religions and different caste people under one roof. Lower caste handmade food was considered impure by higher caste. Nevertheless, today packed food is available. Who made it? No one knows. God created human. In ego, human created casteism. This pride is sin. Do not be proud of your social class and status, you ignorant fool. So much sin and corruption comes from this pride. Each coin has second aspect. It's boon for human being if science and religion is in right hands. But if it's in wrong hands, then humanity can be devastated. Weapons, First Second World War, destruction of Hiroshima, Nagasaki, cities of Japan by atom bomb. Millions of people forever sleeping in the lap of death within seconds is proof that an animal in its animality can take only two for lives, but human being in its cruelty can devastate cities. It's proof that human is the dangerous animal of the world. They belong to the human species, but they act like animals. They curse others day and night. Each and every work by which there is distance between humans is called politics. Some people in guise of religion played such divide and rule policy by which today there is label on human being of Hindu, Muslim, Sikh, Christian like political parties. If we see as per such labels, in science there is great contribution of Christian, Jews and Buddhist for the society, whereas Hindu, Muslim, Sikh gave only communal rares, rapes, hatred, bloodshed, as well as population explosion by which India is number second in world. It is accepted by fools that children are grace of God. However, today even a child know about the birth of child and how it can be controlled. Humans, they are responsible for mistakes they have committed. Nature made laws. By those laws, grain from grain, grass from grass, and human from human is born. Just as corn is produced from corn, grass from grass, in the same way, the man from man, thus there is no creator Ishvara. By doing work day and night, a scientist gets success to invent something. That's why it would not be wrong in saying that scientist is external saint and saint is internal scientist. The reason of the progress in every field by western countries is their dedication towards work. They also have 24 hours, but how to use that time, those people know in better way. While we waste the same time in useless things. Our entire education system is borrowed from Western countries. It's the reason that our children can get second, third position in any field of world, but not first place. Even by doing eyelets, our children are not officer in foreign countries, but they just do labor. It's a matter of sorrow. Instead of having trust on hard work, even medical students offer prashad on religious places. Such students who are trying to get pass mark, will they invent something? Not at all. That's the reason that our contribution to science is nothing. Our children give much importance to prayer than study. Now who can make them understand that exam would come from slavers, not from prayer. Today in the era of competition, each and every second is precious for the student. The superstitious children for sharpening the brain go to fake saints to get blessings. Different threads and rings are used. Even a pen is exhaled. Who are they fake saints? 
who run away from their house due to fear of study. You worship fire and wear saffron color robes, stung by your misfortune, you abandon your home. By increasing high sound of speakers, no one can disturb to anyone in western countries. Whereas in our religious places, up to many kilometers, speakers are deteriorating the life of people. Such people don't think on that time, student is reading, patient is sleeping, someone just came back home from hard work, but not at all. Even for such understanding, should be need of understanding. In each village, there are five to seven religious places, but they want to prove by polluting peaceful environment with high sound. Even those people don't know God is not deaf. To whom you are searching outside is within you. Kabir, O oh Mullah, why do you climb to the top of the minaret? The Lord is not hard of hearing. Look within your own heart for the one for whose sake you shout your prayers. Today everyone want to have latest technology, but why thinking is centuries old? Science, religion talk about future, but still we scratch past bounds. We inspire our children for not forgetting 1947 and 1984. Some talk about Ram Rajya and some feel sad on the time of Mughals. With such doing, we are only putting poison of hatred in the mind of Hindu Muslim six children. With old answers, life's new questions cannot be attempted. Instead of scratching wounds, better to put medicine of love on it. There were many ups and downs in the life of Western people too, but they always look ahead. They made friend to entire world by internet, whereas with our inferior thinking, we made enemy to our own. There is need to think properly that where are we going and where should we go. The life can be ended at any moment. Then why such hate for others? If you are conscious, then be conscious of him night and day, O mortal. Each and every moment your life is passing away like water from a cracked pitcher. Everything available in our house with mobile, laptop, AC, fridge, TV, all are inventions of Christians, Jews, and Buddhists. It's a matter of sorrow that we accept things made of different religion peoples, but we can't accept people made by the Lord. However, all are having light of God. Amongst all is the light. You are that light. By this illumination, that light is radiant within all. From mud house, western technology made marvelous house. Our dark nights turn into light. In the hand of using dung cake gave LPG cylinder. Open toilet going people using Italian seat. Horse car changed to AC car. By aeroplane finish all distance. Today entire world is in our hand. Only due to hard work of western people. Pull out all things from your house except darkness and caves. Nothing remain with us. In the field of science, we gave almost nothing to world. Attach lovingly in the field of religion to others so that debt can be paid of them. As external things are being used without difference, the same way, love to all internally. Expand your heart like ocean to blend all rivers and drainage. I am a friend to all. I am everyone's friend. When the sense of separation was removed from my mind, then I was united with the Lord, my King.